Let me get that. There it is. We'll go back here. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the Sarsomaz SAR9 versus the Stoger STR9F. Both full-size polymer frame striker fire 9mm handguns. The SAR has a 4.4 inch barrel as the STR9F has a 4.7 inch barrel and that's what you're looking at there. The grip is essentially the same width and length. Both have mags that carry 17 rounds. Let's start with the SAR. This became very popular as handguns started to explode during the, the gun buying surge and people were loving the SAR-9. You know, you can pick it up fairly cheap. Now, in today's market, you're looking at 350 to 370 and I still think that's a pretty good deal. As mentioned, 17 round mags, they do give you two mags and it has an ambidextrous thumb safety. This model does. They also have another one that does not. Forward serrations, very nice grip. I call it HK-ish. They, they have additional back straps and grip panels and slight, I wouldn't even say those are finger grooves. It, it has a very nice grip to it. Full pick rail right there, three dot sights, nice shooting handgun. I've taken this to the range on several occasions and it really gets the job done. For a full size handgun at a budget price, I think it's pretty nice. Has a beveled magwell overall nice feel the trigger measures right at five and a half pounds you can see it has that red in there when that red is no longer visible it breaks very nice trigger short reset five and a half pounds really can't go wrong with that the str 9 f is a new edition with stoger came out in 2022 also has mag with 17 rounds now if you understand the way stoger operates they sell their handguns in packages so you can get additional mags additional back straps night sights at an increased cost the average price for this is right around 320 so a little bit lower with the stoger both these are made in turkey so that gives an idea of why the price is budget friendly but look at those slide serrations very deep cut forward and rear serrations. It also has a full pick rail, undercut in the trigger guard, unique looking trigger guard, slight finger bumps, more aggressive grip. If you look at the back strap, you can see how much more aggressive that is with the Stoger. Three dot sights, it has a loaded chamber indicator bar right there. And overall, this is a nice shooting handgun. I enjoy this as well. This has a flat trigger. It breaks right at five and a half pounds as well. And you're looking at a very short reset. So, you know, the, there's no question that both of these are fine shooting handguns. I've enjoyed them both since I've owned them. I've had the SAR-9 longer. And I think this is a phenomenal budget-friendly handgun. But when Stoger came out with this, the STR-9 series actually is growing in popularity. People really like them. I have the STR-9C and now I have the STR-9F. And I, I find them to be very nice shooting handguns they are very similar in size and price a little more pricey at this point in history i guess with the uh, sar 9 but the str 9f is a nice deal all around now i mentioned i took them to the range i did i also did some limp wrist tests let's check that out and see how both of these models performed Nice, it passed. And a little issue there. Let's try it again. And that time it did not chamber. Up a Gundam style.
And there's another. The SAR-9 did better on the Limpress test. Part of that has to do with this was well broken in when I did that. That actually helps quite a bit. But let's get it on the scale here. The unloaded weight, 27 and 3 quarters ounces. Here are 18 rounds. Okay, so that would be the one in the chamber. 35 and 3 eighths ounces. All right, full-size handgun. Now, the STR-9F. It did okay. I have to believe if I put more rounds through this prior to doing that limp wrist test, it would have performed better. I'm not making excuses. I just have seen this and have experienced this, not with this handgun, but others as well. The more rounds you put through it, the more reliable it gets. That makes common, common sense to me anyways. 26 and a half ounces, 33 and 5 eighths. So approximately 34 ounces. Is that a little bit lighter? Yeah, just a little bit lighter with the STR-9F. We'll go ahead and show the internals here. The SAR has a nice takedown lever. It's not a lever. Well, I guess they are. You pull the slide back, and then off comes the slide once depressing those. Dual recoil spring, polymer guide rod, 4.4-inch barrel. And there is... Your frame same deal with the str 9f okay so i can't really say which disassemble i like more because they're both extremely similar there's what we're looking at here a single guide rod steel and a 4.7 inch barrel taking a look at the mags here here we've got the str 9f has a extension on the base plate the sar 9 not really, but they both they both work just as intended. SAR gives you two, Stoker gives you one. Now you can pay additional, and if you do that, you will notice that the gun store price will be about the same for each of these. So there's not a great price difference. SAR gives you a little more in the case than Stoker does. In terms of ergonomics, I'm going with the SAR 9. I love the way it feels, and I like the adaptability of changing out the grip panels and back straps to fit the shooter's hand size. Okay, both have forward serrations, both have full pick rails, both have what you want in a full size handgun. Both are accurate shooters. I have no problem with either. In terms of the the grip here, not bad. I just like the SAR 9, but what I do like with the Stoger is the trigger five and a half pounds it's a flat trigger it just is so crisp so i'm giving the stoger str 9 f and the the nod with the trigger overall if i had to choose one it'd be a tough choice both perform exactly as intended both very accurate shoes i hope i demonstrated that but i'm going with the sar 9 maybe i've had it longer i've got quite a few more rounds through it that may have biased my opinion a little bit, but I really like this handgun. I think it's a, a nice Sarsomaz full-size polymer frame handgun. They did a great job with it, and they priced it well. I like Stoger very much. I've reviewed several of them. I currently have the STR-9C. I have the STR-9F now. Quality handgun, no doubt about it. I enjoy shooting this, and this was very accurate as well. So I find both of these to be fine handguns. What I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.